Well, Simon, another stunning performance. Just your reflections after the, another uh, amazing display from yourself. Um, yeah, I think the wicket at chance, it always suits me. Um, pro professional cricket is about performance and failures, really. And when it's your day, you've got to make sure that you make the best of it because I don't know what's going to happen next week down at Hove or so while the wicket's turning, um, I'm going to try and cash in as much as I possibly can. Um, and that's kind of what I tried to do today. I knew that they were going to be under pressure chasing um, 300 plus. I think we did extremely well with the bats, put ourselves in that situation. And um, I think spin bowling in the fourth innings is all about pressure and you know, I had the luxury of being able to be attacking um, by the simple fact that we had runs on the board. If they were only chasing 150, it would have been a completely different story. So, um, I think we talked the other day about getting in a routine and um, well some sort of some sort of rhythm. Um, you certainly had that today, didn't you? you? You didn't feel you bowled particularly well in the first innings at Kent against Kent the other week, uh, but it's all coming together very, very nicely, isn't it? Yeah, I was disappointed with how I started against Kent. Um, uh, a few basics that I think I should have been quicker to realise. Uh, but yeah, very happy with how the ball's coming out at the moment. Um, cricket's a funny game and so it's been bowling. So uh, you can't take anything for granted. But touch wood, um, may the form continue. All wickets are important, obviously, but that was quite a crucial one just to get that breakthrough last night, wasn't it? And get Surrey really on the back foot um, when you resumed this morning. Yeah, I think they were always going to look to try and bat out um, the evening session uh, without any damage. So um, it allowed me to be a lot more attacking. Um, so, yeah, it kind of played into my hands and, and you can start to then try a lot of different things, whereas... When batters are looking to score and put you under pressure, it's, it's not as easy. Did we, when you resume this morning and the, perhaps at the start of any innings, do you think, yeah, this is my day. I've, I've, I've got enough tricks up my sleeve uh, to take these on and obviously hopefully things pan out your way. But is it a confidence thing, mind over matter as far as you, you against the bat, batter perhaps? Yeah, I think it, it's where we are as a team at the moment and the belief that we have. Uh, I think you could see it against Kent, even when we had um, a bad session or a bad day, that the belief was still there that no matter what happens, we would still uh, be able to win the game. And I think it was the same today. I knew that I was good for at least three or four wickets. Um, and I had full faith in, in Jamie, Sam, Beardy and Paulie. Um, the amount of plays and misses that Ports had this morning I think he was extremely unlucky not to pick up uh, more wickets. It's the best we've seen him bowl in, in a while. Um, but he didn't get the rewards. But that's cricket. He might go down to Hove and, and not bowl as well and, and pick up six or seven. So today was my day. So I'll take it with both hands. And, and hopefully um, the other boys will, will reap the rewards in the games to come. At one stage, you looked as if you could be on course for all 10. You'd take the first six. But I guess the catch uh, that ruined your chance was taken by your own fair hand. Um, but none of the wickets were as gleefully celebrated by you as that particular stunning catch. Had you in target that? Had you thought about all 10, perhaps? Um, yeah, I think when I got to seven, I think it was, um, the boys started talking about... If I pull my finger out, I might be able to get all 10. Um, but I don't know. Those sort of things in cricket don't happen very often. So um, I pride myself on my fielding and my catching especially. So um, I'll take that catch and, and an eight for any day. <laughs> well, you talked to us the other day and you said you had targets, but you weren't prepared to reveal them. Um, perhaps you could sort of indicate that a 10 for is, is in... Um, on, on your radar at some stage? Um, no, I normally look at like a tally of wickets over a tournament, um, things that I want to achieve personally, and then um, obviously captaining the T20 side, there's, there's goals that I want the team to achieve as well. So 
that's sort of how I, I put together my goals. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah, p- perhaps if you bowled a little bit more, you might get the chance to take all the 10. <laughs> <laughs> Have a word with the captain. <laughs> yeah. But that was, I mean, again, um, sort of laughing about that. But that's, that's quite a marathon spell today, wasn't it? You bowled unchanged and in this heat as well. Um, I suppose if you're taking wickets, that's the motivation that keeps you going and the drive that keeps you going, isn't it, Simon? Yeah, I think as long as I'm bowling well and getting the ball in the right areas, there's, in my opinion, there's no need for me to take a break. I think if I do start to get tired and uh, get my length wrong, um, then there could be a case for me to have a sort of four or five over break. But um, felt really good today. Um, so, yeah, I was quite happy to, to bowl for as long as it took. 